dear all i would like to welcome you the lecture series of sensors and transducers in this lecture video i'm going to discuss the radio frequency telemetric system it is also known as rf telemetry or rf telemetry system first of all the speciality of rf telemetry system is such that there is no necessity of physical link between the sending and and receiving end so that is a important feature of the rf telemetry system also uh, it is suitable to transfer the data more than 1 kilometer so these are the important feature of uh, this type of telemetry system also the microwaves are used for this type of telemetry system Micro let us discuss few important speciality of microwave so the microwave is having the frequency range let us familiar the frequency range that varies from uh, 300 megahertz to uh, 300 gigahertz all right also the wavelength lambda that is in the range of 1 meter to 1 millimeter generally this is regarding the microwave okay we let us speak about the basics of microwave so here microwaves are commonly employed for this type of telemetry system that point you have to note down so let us familiar one block diagram for understanding how the information will be transmitted from the trans uh, the sending inside to receiving inside through microwave this block diagram will help you to understand the RF telemetry system. Okay, so as as we can observe, uh, it is very clear that uh, we have the sending inside. Our ultimate goal is to tra uh, transfer the information from sending end to the receiving inside. Here we can see the physical variable. It may be pressure or temperature or force or current or voltage etc these are the physical variable all right physical variable will be measured with the help of either sensor or transducer to improve the strength of the signal we use the signal conditioning device next the if you require you can store the data by using data acquisition system so i need to transfer the information So we have to transmit the information from uh, the sending end to receiving end side. At the transmitter side, we can see radio frequency modulator. Also, if you want, we can increase the uh, strength of the signal by using certain amplifier. So we can we have to use one antenna. It may be one kind of Yagi Uda antenna. You must have heard about different type of uh, antennas in communication system. All right. So depends on the capacity. You have to design an antenna with respect to the capacity. How much information uh, to be transferred? What is the distance? How much? How far the sending end is from uh, receiving end side? What could be the distance? All those things you have to take care. You have to select the antenna wisely. So this is regarding the sending end side. So at the receiving end side, we must have one receiving antenna, receiving end side. All right. Then you have to provide the uh, strength of the signal by using the amplifier. Next, you have to separate the signal by using the process of demodulation. There are two processes called a modulation and a demodulation. For doing the demodulation process, we must have demodulator. So we have to retrieve the signals, original signal. So at the time of modulation, so along with the original signal, you have to add add the carrier signal. So when it comes to the receiving end side, you have to separate both the signal, original signal and the carrier signal. Okay, message signal and the carrier signal, right? Now we can uh, take back the old signal and it can be moved on to the signal conditioning device too. Any type of signal conditioning device, maybe amplifier or whatever it may be. So the information, our ultimate goal is to reach the information to the receiving end side. So there is a end device. So we have to use the end device. Clear. So uh, the original information will be reached at the end device. It may be a storage device or it may be a display device. Uh, such kind of devices can be considered as end device. Therefore, the physical variable, whatever the quantity you are measuring now, that will be reaching at the uh, receiving end side, at the end devices. It may be recording or display. Uh, such kind of devices can be considered as end devices. 
So this is called a radio frequency telemetry system. The information will be uh, transferred from sending end to receiving end side through the radio wave. That is why it is called as RF telemetry system. Okay, I hope you understood the uh, criteria. Now we need to learn about what is modulation, demodulation, because for RF uh, telemetry system, you need to understand what is modulation, demodulation, classification of modulation, all the terminologies that we are going to discuss in the uh, coming session. Let me know if you are having any questions related to this particular topic. This block diagram is important for your exam point of view. You may uh, note down uh, separately. Thank you so much for watching this video. Happy learning.